Hey everyone, it's Dave with davidspassage.com. Coming to you with a trip video this time. This time I'm heading down the Pine River here. I'm near Wellston, Michigan. Uh, somewhere near Wellston, Cadillac, Luther, kind of in that general area. This is the fastest river in Lower Michigan from what I'm told. Uh, we used Harina livery service here, or Harina canoe and kayak rental here to do our car spotting. And for $30 plus a $5 parking pass, they will take your car to uh, what's called Low Bridge and then bring you up with your kayaks to where we're at, which is, which is Dobson Bridge. Um, we're in the, in the Huron-Manistee National Forest and this is about a five and a half hour paddle. There are some class one and two rapids, which I'm really excited about. And again, um, we're on the Pine River, so stick around. It's a beautiful river. I've been down, and the only other time I've been down it was in the rain and cold. So the weather's supposed to be amazing today. So hopefully we'll have a better trip and I'll be able to actually share some uh, footage with you from the Pine River here, where we're at. If you come here, um, I think from May 15th to September 15th, you do have to get a permit to actually paddle the river, um, watercraft permit. So you have to have a permit to paddle the river. You have to have a permit to park. So it's kind of crazy, but to get the permit, you go to recreation.gov and there's some links if you want to look up the Pine River um, in the uh, National Forest Service website. There's a $5 per vehicle day use um, permit that you need and you got to fill out a little thing and, and put uh, put a little hangy tag in your window one of the nice things about this particular landing is they do have some decent toilets before you head out they want you to use those instead of the river so they do maintain those so I did another video on this but this is that haversack and as you can see it just fits really nicely into this back compartment of my kayak underneath that's my PFD I've got a quick release knot here. If I need to um, yank this off and grab my PFD, I can just grab back, pull it, and then all that paracord will come undone. Um, and underneath that's my PFD, and then I've got my lunch there. Water bottles in the kayak. But if you want some information on what I take on my paddle trips, you can look up my other video on my kayak paddle pack. Well, we'll just put you out there first, and then... Um, and then we'll just have you park. It's like a beach. Huh? It's like a beach. I know it's very, very sandy river. Really. You should be able to just do it. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh yeah. Big one? Sure. Trout. It's a trout stream. I think it's a blue ribbon trout stream. One of the neat things about the pine is that it is just fed by these streams, these springs turn into streams that feed this whole thing and 
just really a uh, keeps the water cool, crisp, clear. You're not getting a lot of runoff. Not getting any runoff from farms or anything like that. So my wife says from a women's perspective, this is a great place to go to the bathroom because it's so sandy. There's not any weeds you have to crawl through once you get out of your kayak. So, to all you ladies, there you go. It's fun to live there. You did a nice job of it. Isn't it cute? Yes. Aww. I bet it's a rental. That'd be fun to rent. Is that fun? You having a good time? Yep. Watch out, you're gonna wanna get sucked into that log jam. Stay on this side if you need to. Rock right there. You don't want to get sucked under those logs, now with that current. You got what? Yeah. <laughs> the Peterson Bridge Campground. Um, I'm not sure if we're halfway or not. We're going to Low Bridge. I would say about halfway, yeah. Maybe a little more. I don't know, it depends on how fast this water is after Peterson. You know, if it's like those rapids the whole way, then we might get there pretty quick. This is the Peterson Bridge public landing site. Nice little, uh, nice little launch area. Just before the Peterson Bridge. Oh, we're not halfway. Low Bridge is eight miles from here. That last one. Six miles. Is yeah, but this will. I bet it's halfway time-wise because it's gonna be faster water. Okay, so from P, so from from Dobson to here, he said it's six miles. And then I'm looking at a sign now. It says from here to Low Bridge is eight miles. It says this river is patrolled by County Sheriff's Department, U.S. Forest Service. So. That's who maintains U.S. Forest Service because it's Manistee National Forest. But, um, eight miles. I'm thinking this is about halfway because this is apparently the fastest water is now to the end. So there's Peterson Bridge.
What? What? Your ore water went right in my butt. One thing that's really cool about the pine is it's just like, it's got these tall sandy bluffs on the side. You know, they just come sheer up out of the water. It's so cool. sorts of, of cliffs, especially after Peterson Bridge. They just get taller and taller, it seems. Pull me out so I don't get in the water again. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. It's a water <laughs> Well, thanks for tagging along on this video of the Pine River, and just appreciate you guys watching. Thanks you for all your comments and support. And if you'd like to see more videos like that, be sure to hit the subscribe button, like, and share the video. And I'd love to connect with you on Facebook or Twitter. Just look me up at David's Passage. It was a beautiful day. There were several uh, little rapidy areas that were a lot of fun. Nothing too bad. I wouldn't call this a beginner river by any means. So if this is your first time paddling, um, I probably wouldn't come to this river. But you know, if you've been out on the on a few rivers, you know that are kind of you know slow to just sort of build yourself up, get used to some things. This is a great river. It's phenomenal. Um, we did pass a couple that were in kayaks and they ended up tipping out after a rapid. And so. Um, again, you know, you just want to be safe when you paddle rivers, especially because, especially when you're in a place like this, because you're in a national forest. The closest roads off the river, you know, tend to average about a mile or, or more, and you're climbing. If you saw some of those sandy bluffs, you know, you're climbing way up after that. So you just want to be careful um, when you're on the, on the river paddling. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.